Welcome to DIY Chip Daddy. Today I'm going to replace this connection between these two holes. Uh, this is for 2009 Toyota Corolla. Uh, it finally broke, but before it broke it out like this, uh, I saw cooling around this area. So it seemed like it's already have a crack and already been leaking. So in order to reach that, uh, you need to remove the battery and and remove the battery cover and you will see two nuts so you just uh, 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 unlock those two nuts and get the new port and put it back in um, if your hose is new then all you need is just to remove the battery and just uh, there's two clip here one clip one clip and put it back but since my whole hose is not new, I think it's at least three years old and have 20,000 miles. And since I bought the cooling, so I may as well also change the hose for peace of mind. So the hose from the top is the gate. I bought the, I use the gate brand, which is 23519. And all, all I need is this connect over there. And the other hose is this one, which is 23521. So, uh, and the connection is right there. So, um, yeah, since, since I'm working on this, I want to have a peace of mind, so I also changed the two holes since it's almost about time to change it every maybe every five years so this is a little bit earlier three to four but uh, I would want to get dirty one time so if you if you didn't change any bypass hole heater core holes this may be the time to do it uh, otherwise you you may have to buy another gallon of cooling to do it when it leaks um, in order to remove this this is the air filter housing so I have a video which I work on the control arm remove everything up to this point and this is the uh, transmission mount so you can watch that video nothing more than three bow holding the air filter and as long as you re remove the air filter housing you will see exactly like this all the hoses um, in front of you okay that's all folks just want to share video how I um, replacing this and if you see you have some cooling accumulated at the tip then you probably should order the part and start changing it because you will eventually you will broke so you just it's supposed to be very long and you just broke so you just have to remove the old part and the old part is already very mushy and and soft and all corroded so uh, that's all folks thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment So if you see a little bit accumulation of cooling on the edge, you should start ordering the part and change it because you know you never know when you will break. So if you see some cooling around here, but they already crack. So So all two new holes, those are the old one. But the but the old one wasn't really in good shape anyway. So So basically it's pretty simple. You just uh, remove this clip, remove another clip, push the air filter that way. 
filter housing that way and remove the air filter inside they have free bolt you unbolt that free bolt and you should see this area open so in order to remove the battery so you have one nut here 10 millimeter 10 millimeter and a hook down there so release it disconnect the negative battery then disconnect the positive battery make sure uh, when you remove the battery you don't touch anything and after that there's a battery tray down there and after you remove the battery tray you will see something like this and with two two bow on top and it's 10 millimeters so just remove it and uh, that will be it and for cramping the uh, for cramping the clip, all you need is a plier. Big plier, hold it down. And you can go out this way or you can go out the other way, it's up to you. So, uh, put back is the same. If you have one of this lock, then you just unscrew it. And wiggle it out and push it back. That's all folks. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I just want to make one more point if you see some cooling around here it's already cracked it's already not working so you're just buying it's, it's just a ticking time bomb you will break any time and you will the car will overheat and that kind of thing and you, you may need a tow so fix it before this break thank you so much for watching Please like, subscribe, and comment. And and mine actually have a little bit cooling, but I didn't take care of it. It's about, I would say, six months ago. And the reason I break it is when I'm working on it, I accidentally just touch it a little bit, and then they just break off. So, thank you.